It's game day for the National Football League, and that means Commissioner Roger Goodell is on the field at one of the 14 games taking place around the country. Tonight, he's at Giants MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, going through his usual routine before kickoff, greeting fans and talking to owners. <laughs> From the reaction of these fans, you wouldn't know that Goodell has been hit with some of the harshest criticism of his career in recent months, all because of the NFL's handling of player conduct and domestic violence. I think for me it's, it's uh, in some ways challenging, of course. Uh, I would call it educational, but I'd also call it very rewarding in the sense that it's given me an opportunity to understand how you have to do things better. And on this night, it isn't long before the subject comes up. Bring back Ray! That would be Ray, as in Ray Rice, the Baltimore Ravens star running back who was suspended indefinitely by Goodell in September. Initially, Goodell sidelined Rice for just two games after seeing a video that showed Rice dragging his then fiance Janae Palmer's unconscious body out of a hotel elevator in Atlantic City. It wasn't until a second video surfaced showing Rice knocking out Palmer that Goodell took further action and issued the indefinite suspension. I got it wrong in the handling of the Ray Rice matter. And I'm sorry for that. Many called this too little, too late, and called for the commissioner to resign. But Goodell has no intention of resigning. Instead, he has pledged to change the way the NFL handles cases of domestic violence. He is set to unveil a tough new personal conduct policy on December 10th, and he has also taken steps to start educating NFL personnel on matters of domestic abuse. So you've kind of put them in training camp. Well, we have, to some extent, that's, to use an NFL term, yes, yeah. in the sense of making sure they understand uh, the, the signs mm -hmm. so that, you know, you understand if others may be going through something, what to do, bystander awareness mm -hmm. is what we, how we phrase that, and also the complexity of this issue. The new policy is expected to put a player accused of domestic violence on immediate paid leave while an independent investigation takes place. An outside panel or hearing officer may also have the power to levy substantial fines and suspensions. But many remain skeptical that the league has the will to change. Since 2000, there have been 135 domestic violence cases involving NFL players. The harshest penalty? A one-game suspension, according to internal NFL documents. Hey, how are you? Right. Amid the controversy, the embattled commissioner has stayed in the game. One guy said, bring back Ray Rice. The other guy said, hang in there, stick to your guns. Does that affect you when you hear the fans fighting it out? No, because they all have different opinions. You know, and that's okay. You, you, you listen to them and you understand them. But in some ways, sometimes they're half-joking and sometimes they have other reasons for it. You could call Goodell the ultimate fan. As a teenager, he wrote some 40 letters to the NFL before finally getting an internship with the league in 1982. I'm a fan. I started as a fan. I still am a fan. Are you still as passionate today after everything as you were when you were that little boy writing letters? I really want to come work for the NFL. You're, you're more passionate because I have, you know, more responsibility, more opportunity to make a difference. That passion has served him well in his current job, which he took over in 2006. Well, my role, first off, in the, as a commissioner of the NFL, is to grow the game and mm -hmm. to protect the game. And that's everybody involved with the game, from fans to players to coaches to executives uh, and our partners. Andy has grown the game significantly. Despite the Rice controversy, NFL revenue has grown from $6.6 .6 billion in 2006 to $10 billion today. And 28 of the 30 top-rated network television shows this fall were NFL games. It's an achievement that has earned Goodell the support of team owners like Jerry Jones. You all pay him $45 million to people say to do your bidding, but you're yes. saying he doesn't just do your bidding all no, the time. No, he, he will, uh, there's no question, uh, a lot of the rationale uh, behind compensation to a commissioner is to make them independent. But Goodell's success as the chief NFL protector isn't as clear. At NFL headquarters in New York, a team scrutinizes every reviewed call in games around the league. They also monitor injuries, another controversial issue for Roger Goodell. 
So defense got, defense got with clean hands. Though the NFL says concussions are down, a recent study commissioned by the league reported that three in ten retired players have cognitive problems. In a class action lawsuit settled in August, the NFL had agreed to pay $765 million to retired players with cognitive impairments. The final payout has since been revised and will not be capped on a specific amount. If we have a serious injury, we tag it and then we send that to our medical teams so they can evaluate. As an example, concussion. Did a concussion happen because he hit another player in the head? Mm -hmm. So were they using an illegal technique, mm -hmm. potentially? Mm -hmm. Is it because oh, wow. he may have just hit his head on the turf? Mm -hmm. Was it grass? Mm -hmm. was it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it or is that in the meantime, while Goodell remains popular with many NFL fans, questions continue to be raised over his handling of the Ray Rice issue. In November, an arbitrator lifted Rice's suspension, and he is currently a free agent. His now wife, Janae, says that Goodell knew about the severity of the incident all along. Janae Rice was all over the news the last couple days because she gave an interview to the Today Show. And she also, you know, questioned your credibility. Do you have any reaction to what she said that she suggests that maybe you were not truthful? No, I don't. I don't take those things personally, and, uh, and I wish Janae well. Um, the, you know, we understand and uh, we may have different views about what happened, but I, I certainly don't have any reaction to that. The impact of Goodell's new domestic violence policies, however, remains to be seen. Many wonder if it will be the issue that defines his tenure as commissioner for better or worse. Do you think the domestic violence issue could be your legacy? Concussions, people said, would <laughs> be your I'm laughing only because, Monica, as I, I, and I think I've said it to you when we've met before, is that I don't think in terms of legacy. Uh, I've had people tell me at various times during my nine years as commissioner, this will be your legacy. Uh, I don't know what my legacy will be, and I'm not concerned about it. What I'm concerned about is doing the right things and continuing to make the NFL more popular on a, on a global basis. and. If we do that successfully, I'll let other people worry, worry about legacies when I'm done. <laughs>